Jupiter has long been an object of fascination, wonder, and intrigue, with 79 moons, potent winds, mysterious sounds, swirling patterns, and a bright aurora. For decades, several attempts have been made to discover more about this giant planet, and NASA's $1.13 billion Juno mission might be the most successful. Consequently, the spacecraft that has uncovered so much about Jupiter was named after the Roman goddess Juno, Jupiter's wife. This video will take a look at the fantastic decade-long journey taken by the Juno spacecraft. For years, Jupiter has enchanted humanity as we've made several attempts to study the planet. You can support us by liking and commenting on the video. You can also subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. NASA releases stunning new images of Jupiter from Webb Telescope. Jupiter lies 365 million miles at its closest point to Earth, and when it's at its farthest, it lies about 600 million miles away. Studying the planet has been no simple feat, owing it to its gaseous atmosphere, lack of solid surface to land on, enormous size, powerful magnetic field, and deadly radiation. Despite all odds, on August 5, 2011, NASA launched its ambitious Juno mission to take on the gas giant and reveal the story of Jupiter's formation and evolution. The near-infrared camera NIRCAM instrument uses the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the most complex telescope ever flown. These new images demonstrate its ability to capture the invisible infrared light, essential for understanding Jupiter's atmosphere. The incredible resolution of these new Jupiter images shows never-before-seen details. Researchers believe these observations will help them unravel long-standing mysteries regarding the planet's atmosphere. Specifically, these new images reveal fascinating insights into the makeup of Jupiter's storms and what drives their evolution. What was Juno's task? It wasn't easy, but Juno was up for the challenge and would orbit the planet and get as close as possible. After making several changes to orbit and maneuvers, the spacecraft successfully entered Jupiter's orbit on July 4, 2016. Juno has high-tech instruments such as magnetometers, microwave radiometers, and energetic particle detectors to facilitate its operation. Juno also had JunoCam, a special visible light camera telescope to capture the best pictures of Jupiter. The camera has given us some of the most stunning images of the planet, unraveling many secrets of the behemoth planet. The breathtaking Jupiter's South and North Poles Juno captured the uniquely rare sight of Jupiter's southern pole, completely swamped by storms and cyclones. It looks like something straight out of a Van Gogh painting, showcasing the planet's South Pole as never seen before. The spacecraft is the first to get a clear and precise look at the planet's poles, allowing scientists to dig deeper into the many storms and cyclones. At the North Pole, it seemed the cyclones were more octagonal, while at the South, they formed a pentagon. For Juno, they could only guess what the poles would resemble. It is now possible to collect imagery in infrared and study the polar weather as a spacecraft orbits the planet. Juno is also the first spacecraft to get closer to Jupiter. Juno captures the family portrait of Jupiter and its satellites. Jupiter is known for its many satellites, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, Amathia, and Hemelia. Now, Jupiter's mission attention was solely on the planet itself and its super icy moons. During its eight flybys, the Jupiter cam captured the perfect image of Jupiter and its famous moons, Io and Europa. It's almost like a family portrait all in one. The image was taken while the spacecraft drifted 27,516 kilometers above the planet's cloudy atmosphere. The picture revealed that Io was closer to Jupiter than Europa. Another stunning image shows the shadow of Io falling on Jupiter, captured most recently on September 12, 2019. That was during a close flyby, braving Jupiter's harsh atmosphere and coming within 8,450 miles of the planet. Cyclones in Jupiter the data collected also revealed a multitude of massive storms and closely packed cyclones constantly churning on the planet. 
Cyclones are related to a system of winds that rotate inwards and are primarily associated with rain-making conditions. Contrarywise, anticyclones force the air downward toward the planet's surface and do not produce any precipitation. Scientists Sean Durant and Gerald Eichstud used the data to create an image of a massive storm named NNLRS-1. This beast of a storm seems to be raging along one side of the planet, while several minor cyclones can be seen in the surrounding region. Each storm is said to be big enough to engulf North America. Another image shows a group of cyclones seemingly swirling around in a mesmerizing dance, captured in great detail by the JunoCam. The image was taken from about 18,000 miles, or 28,567 kilometers, above the cloud cover. The outer clouds in the cyclones seem to be moving counterclockwise, while the inner ones do the opposite. The Behemoth Storm – Jupiter's Signature First observed in 1831 by amateur astronomer Samuel Heinrich Schwab, the behemoth storm captivated people with its strong winds. The speed of the winds reaches 430 to 680 kilometers per hour. The gigantic red storm is twice as wide as the Earth. Located in the planet's southern hemisphere, Juno got extremely close to Jupiter during its seventh flyby to capture the majestic anticyclone. On Earth, a storm would eventually die after hitting land, but on Jupiter, it rages on because there isn't a solid surface. Scientists say the storm was probably there for years before it was first observed. No one knows how it gets its distinct red color. However, if you ask the Great Red Spot, the answer might be cannibalism. New studies suggest that the Great Red Spot devours smaller storms to sustain itself. The giant storm shrinks and grows now and then. However, the data collected from the Juno mission heavily suggests that it is on a shrinking trend. The storm is an anticyclonic oval that measures about 20,000 miles in length and 10,000 miles in width, and is between 8,000 and 10,000 miles deep. It was named by the French astronomer Lavier upon discovery due to the red hue of the storm when observed in small telescopes. It is estimated to have been around for at least 350 years, making it even more remarkable in duration and lifespan. The storm is surrounded by many impressive structures and vortices, such as the South Equatorial and North Equatorial Belt. The two bands of storms bake at temperatures above 328 degrees Fahrenheit and are located in the equatorial zone of Jupiter. They spin at around 200 miles per hour opposite each other, making the upper atmosphere similar to a hurricane's. The storm casts an enigmatic radiative glow in the atmosphere, though its relationship to Jupiter's formation is still unknown. What drives its long-standing longevity is also a mystery. Researchers believe that the upper atmosphere of Jupiter redistributes energy and angular momentum which helps make the phenomenon stable. Scientists have also theorized that the storm's heat results from its high wind speeds which stir up latent heat. NASA's spacecraft reveals Jupiter's ultra-powerful auroras. Jupiter's auroras are the most powerful in the solar system, much like the breathtaking ones we see on Earth. The planet produces these powerful X-ray auroras typically at its poles, and several theories exist on how they are made. With the measurements taken from Juno, scientists speculate that the vibrations in the planet's magnetic field create ultra-powerful waves. These waves carry supercharged particles to the poles, forming these auroras. The particles smash into each other as they move into the magnetic field, forming streams of glowing light. Overlaid images from the Juno cams show the spectacular shimmering lights on both sides of Jupiter. One can only imagine what a spectacular sight this could be against the black expanse of space. These auroras are said to be so powerful that they could briefly power all human civilization. Juno's ultraviolet camera revealed that the interaction of particles from Io with the solar wind fuels Jupiter's auroras. Juno has orbited Jupiter multiple times, providing scientists with an unprecedented look at the aurora's three-dimensional structure, which was impossible before. That has enabled them to identify the unique auroral features, including powerful and concentrated auroral bands. NASA's Juno reveals swirling clouds. Clouds on gas giants exhibit a series of distinctive shapes and colors due to the dynamic nature of their atmospheres. On Jupiter, the clouds are mainly comprised of ammonia crystals, water, and sulfur compounds. 
The Juno space probe orbits Jupiter once every 53 days. As it passes around the planet, it takes images from one side of the gas giant to the other. These images give us a detailed view of Jupiter's clouds from their distinctive forms. These clouds exist in a perpetual state of motion, with the main collective cell reaching a staggering 64,000 feet or 12.6 miles in height. The winds that drive these cloud formations can reach up to 270 miles per hour. This powerful wind dynamic is believed to be driven by water vapor and conventional currents. The south equatorial belt of Jupiter is filled with various sized cyclones, each one surrounded by striated winds. Some of these cyclones reach hundreds of miles in diameter, with one reaching up to 1,400 miles. Below these cyclones is an area of chaotic storms and lightning, emitting radio waves that Juno's onboard radio receiver can detect. An image captured on October 2018 showcases the stunning design and almost art-like appearance of the clouds in Jupiter's atmosphere. It's almost like looking into a real-life painting with surreal worldly beauty. Taken by the spacecraft's 16th flyby, the cloud band team to swirl and create the most aesthetically pleasing visual. Another magnificent image of the swirling clouds on Jupiter can be seen in Jupiter's North Tempered Belt. The scene is hauntingly beautiful, with myriad shades and colors seen with several white pop-up clouds. The event can also be seen with a raging white oval-shaped anticyclone. At the time of this photo, Juno was about 4,400 miles above the cloud tops at approximately 40 degrees north. Juno's Data – An Answer to Past Mysteries Jupiter is a marvelous beauty, and these Juno images showcasing the deep heat systems in Jupiter's atmosphere proved just that. The powerful jet streams on the giant planet seem to extend far longer and deeper than previously imagined. The images also revealed that these colorful ribbons and belts could penetrate up to 1,800 miles or 3,000 kilometers into the planet. Galileo had viewed these strips on the planet over 400 years ago, though they seemed like a mystery. Nevertheless, with gravity measurements taken by the spacecraft, we can now study the planet's depth and core. The billowy bands wrapping around the planet make for some stunning imagery, and you cannot deny that Jupiter is an actual work of art. NASA's Juno mission has collected groundbreaking observations about the planet's atmosphere and intermagnetic and gravitational fields. Juno now to link with European Space Agency It has since uncovered more data about the giant planet's structure than any other mission. Because of this valuable trove of information, NASA has pushed back the end date from July 2021 to September 2025. Juno will unite with European Space Agency's JUICE, Jupiter Ice Moon Explorer, to get up close with Europa, Io, and Ganymede. By connecting with Europa Clipper, scientists will better understand Jupiter's icy moons, which may hold clues about life. The moons have the potential to host liquid water oceans beneath their surfaces. Juno and Europa Clipper now offer an unprecedented opportunity for humanity to learn more about our cosmic neighbors. Jupiter's icy moon Europa has long been an intriguing target for exploration. Scientists believe that the ice-covered moon may be capable of sustaining microbial life. In light of this interest, the Juno mission is set to launch a spacecraft to explore Jupiter and its moons, including Europa. The mission will focus on the moon's atmosphere, magnetosphere, and water plumes that rise beneath the moon's icy surface. These plumes suggest the presence of internal liquid oceans, which could provide a habitable environment for microbial life. Juno will use its highly sensitive instruments to measure the ice sheet's thickness and composition, and to search for other plumes. We can expect some exciting discoveries in the coming years. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting space videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.